Guys, one question that I keep getting on my channel is, how do you record your voice? How do you achieve this quality? Do you use any fancy expensive microphone? So I thought to answer all these questions in one go, I'm just gonna do a quick video breaking down how I record my voice because there's no magic to it or any fancy equipment. I'm just using the Blue Yeti, which is around 100 pounds here in the UK. It goes up by 10 or 20 pounds every now and then, but you can get it in a sale. It's like an Amazon sale or something for under 100 pounds. What you need to do most definitely when you receive your Blue Yeti is you're gonna need an arm to mount it on and you're gonna need a pop filter because the stand that comes with the Blue Yeti is not particularly good. It doesn't isolate the microphone. So any little movement or touch of the table on which the microphone is sitting is gonna create loads of background noise and it's just really, really annoying. So you wanna mount your microphone on a little arm which costs five, six bucks on Amazon. So that's a good investment, uh, I personally feel. And then, like I said, you're gonna need a pop filter because in the beginning I didn't use a pop filter with my Blue Yeti and I was so disappointed, I was so unhappy. It, it, nothing sounded right, I tried many different things. It didn't sound good. Uh, so I bought the pop filter and immediately you get like a way better pickup, like the audio signal is just much better. Another important point to mention is how far do you keep your mouth from the actual microphone? And as you can see here, I may be what, like five, six centimeters away from the pop filter. That's how I record my audio, because if you go further away, you need to boost the gain on the back of the microphone, that button pretty much, and I'm not doing that because the more you push that up, the more background noise you're gonna get, you know, like just white noise in the background. So you wanna keep that gain in the back here, as you can see, as low as possible. As you can see here, if you get that close to the pop filter, to the microphone, you don't need a lot of gain to get like a healthy signal. If you're looking at the software I use to, to record, this is Audacity recording this right now, and you can see the signal never really touches the top or bottom of the audio track. So you get a healthy, good signal that has enough power you know, to, to sound properly, but at the same time, you're not going over the top. It doesn't sound really terrible. And I think the general trick here is kind of find the middle ground between the microphone setting inside Audacity, and you can see I've tuned it down a little bit, and then match that really with the gain on the back of the microphone and, and twist those knobs uh, until you find like a good healthy signal that roughly looks like that. I'm not post-processing my audio at all. I just use it as it comes out of the microphone. I just save it straight out of Audacity as a WAV file. And that's pretty much all I do. One more thing to mention though is I see a lot of people on YouTube talking into their, their Blue Yetis from the top, right? They, they kind of tilt the microphone so it kind of points towards your mouth. That is a bad idea because the audio from the Blue Yeti is picked up from that angle, right? You're gonna have to talk into this direction and ideally front on into the microphone. Don't talk from the top, you know, don't look at other YouTubers doing that. It's not a good idea. You'll get the best results talking straight into the mic like this. And that's pretty much it. I'm not using any fancy sound card or anything else that I'm not mentioning here. This is all. So if you follow those steps and try to get your setup pretty much like that, you're gonna get a similar or maybe even better audio quality, depending, maybe you get a better pop filter, invest a bit more money in that. Obviously, my voice plays a role in that as well. You know, if you have a very quiet and shy voice, it's not gonna sound as full as if you're like confidently talking into the microphone. Uh, that makes a big difference, obviously, how you speak as well. Uh, but overall, that's it, guys. Uh, that's That's all I wanted to share. I hope it helped you because I went through quite a period of not being happy with my Blue Yeti, you know, it didn't sound right. Like I said, I didn't have a pop filter and so on. I wasn't happy with the results, but now I really am. And I think it's a great microphone. You can, you can do great stuff with it. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. I'm mostly doing, you know, video game content and stuff like that, but I'd be happy to see you around once in a while. I'd appreciate that. So guys, take care, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I'm out, bye.